What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today's video we're going to be looking at number 93 on the top 100 NFL's greatest players of all time. We're looking at Sam Huff. I don't know nothing about him, but you know what? Before we do that, let's look him up. Let's just get an age at least. Sam is his nickname. Robert Lee Huff, born October 4th, 1934, is a former American football linebacker in the NFL for the New York Giants and Washington Redskins. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1982. He played college football for West Virginia and is a member of the College Football Hall of Fame also. So he's, he's still alive, October 4th, 1934, age 84, and he lives in, no, he was born in West Virginia. He went in the third round of the 1956 draft at pick number 30. So about pick number 100 overall. That's crazy to be in the top 100 players of all time. So he played for the Giants from 56 to 63, the Redskins from 64 to 67, and then again in 69. So his career spanned 14 years. That's a huge career. Let's get back to this. I don't say when I play, but I, I've played everything, you know, and I played 11 and a half years. I never got hurt. Why? Why? Why, Sam? I don't know. Because I was going full speed all the time. Oh. He came very close and <laughs> remained very close. Always told him, I said, you That's so true though, man. If you're going to go into contact and you just for a split, a split second sort of think about it or hesitate or try and go the other way at the last second, like, that's when it can happen, man. That's when you can get injured. If you commit to that run, you commit to that tackle, you follow through with it, you're most likely going to be successful brother that I've never had. Number 93. Every play was full ball with him. Every play he went, he went full out. Sam Huff was a coal miner's son from West Virginia. He was drafted by New York in 1956 as a defensive lineman. But when assistant coach Tom Landry installed the revolutionary 4-3 defense, he made Huff its anchor at middle linebacker. <laughs> as long as I played football, I always played from the, what you call three-point stance. You're always down, and you always saw one person. And all of a sudden, Tom Landry says, why don't you try middle linebacker? And I'm standing up. Boom. Now I can see everything. It was such a beautiful thing for me. It was like I was born to play it. Quarterbacks find Very Red interesting Tuggins perspective. Toughest in the league. Oh, nice throw and forces Luke Carpenter to fumble. And here comes the ball carrier. All by himself. <laughs> I'm trying to beat you. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> oh, I love it. He wiggles past it, Huff spins him down on the Doesn't wiggle, but no. In the spotlight of the <laughs> world's media capital, the New York defenders became... Oh my god, look at that footage of New York. Huff was their it's insane. Leading man ...in the new glamorous era of defensive football. He was a sought-after spokesman for advertisers. He was featured on the cover of Time magazine. And he was even the star in a gritty CBS documentary. I had great admiration for him when he was with the New York Giants and it grew when he became a Redskin and uh, I knew why that Sam Hoff would uh, you know, end up eventually in the Hall of Fame. Just dominated on defense. Lined up his man. Get him! That seemed too easy. style of tackling. He aimed for the back shoulder. He never had a guy cut back on him. He didn't give him that angle. He oh. gave him one way to go. Very smart intelligence. Yeah. He Stay on their inside slightly. And everybody else is on defense. Check a lot at an angle. Oh. Believe me, he deserves to be in the top 100. I believe you, buddy. Huff was born and grew up in a number nine coal mining camp. 
the fourth child of six for Oral and Catherine Huff. He lived with his family in a small row house with no running water. He grew up during the Great Depression while his father and two of his brothers worked in local coal mines. Geez, he, he definitely came up through a bit of adversity and that probably added to the way that he played, to be fair. So look, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody.